Hi everyone, today I'm going to be talking about three things I tell my students every year of how they can prepare for this physics class, what to expect, and how they can be successful. The first thing that I want to talk about is the importance of math. I know a lot of times when people are taking physics, they're excited, ooh, I'm going to start learning about space, I'm going to start making a catapult, I'm going to finally learn why the sky is blue, and they think about all these things that physics offers. However, many times people don't realize how much math is involved. I like to tell my students, it's like playing hockey. You know, you can have great reflexes, you can maybe hit the puck really hard, but none of that matters unless you know how to ice skate. And that's the same thing with physics. Maybe you're great at science, maybe you're, you're fascinated by the world. However, if you don't know how to do math, you can't do physics. It's the same kind of thing. So what I tell my students every year is, if you're not at the level of math that you should be at, then you're gonna have a very, very hard time with this class. So either you wanna drop it, or you wanna make sure you're at the level of math that you need to know. I made a video over here showing how to do those kind of problems. The good thing is there aren't that many math concepts that you need to know, but the few that you need to know, you need to know really, really, really well. So make sure you know your basic algebra pretty well. Make sure you know how to do dimensional analysis. Make sure you know how to do geometry, the Sokotoa stuff. And there, other than that, if you can do that, you're gonna be fine. There are other things that you need to do, maybe like quadratic formula or system equations, but those aren't as important. So if you got that down, you guys are good to go. And again, if you didn't, make sure to click on that video and that'll help you to prepare for the math that you'll be seeing in physics. The second thing that I wanna talk about is memorizing versus understanding. Understanding. So a lot of times students are in class or in school and they're really used to just memorizing vital information re regardless of if they understand it or not. I know in my own situation I felt like I almost never knew what was going on in high school but I knew how to memorize important information that I felt had a good idea that was going to be on a quiz or a test. So even though I didn't know what was going on I memorized these crucial ideas and I could usually get an A or at least a B. This isn't the case at all, and students have a hard time with this because they're used to just memorizing things, trying to figure out what's on the test, and memorize that information and putting it on the test. For physics, it's really about applying your knowledge. You can't just memorize things because every question that you're going to see is different. So unless you get the basic idea of a concept or a topic, you, don't, you won't know how to figure out how to do a certain question because all questions are different. So it's extremely important that you don't just memorize random information or just write it down, but you truly try to understand it. Whether that's through watching more videos or whether that's asking questions, it's extremely important to try to understand than to memorize. I see this every year. I see that every year I tell the students the same thing, you know, make sure you don't just memorize, you try to understand. But you know, students are like, yeah, whatever. And they just try to memorize and do their own thing. But they see later on, wow, I really have to understand what's going on. And the great thing about this is when you understand, you have to study so much less. So really make the effort to try to understand and don't try to make the effort to memorize, okay? And usually everything you have to memorize is given to you, like formula sheets and things like that. The third thing that I tell my students is that physics builds. So a lot like your math class, you might have experienced you know, being sick or going on vacation for a little bit and then you come back to math and you just feel completely lost because math builds and if you weren't there for the initial step, you're lost for all these other steps. This is also exactly what happens in physics. You know, chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, they all build on top of each other. So a lot of times people are like, oh man, I wasn't really focused during chapter one, but I'll pick it up through for the next chapter or something like that. However, this is a big problem because physics builds. So the more that you're knowing, the more that you're understanding at the beginning, the more it's gonna help later on. So of course, you know, always try to focus, but just make sure if you ever miss a day or missing something to try to get the notes, to try to understand Understand what was said when you weren't there okay so physics build so make sure you're uh, on top of everything from day one or else you're gonna be completely lost if you find motivation later you're just gonna have a hard time being able to catch up the last tip that I want to talk about is with physics think people are different some students get it in a snap you know they they just pay attention in class they barely have to study they barely have to do their homework they're acing tests and they're able to just do well just by paying attention. But then I see other students who are studying 
hours and hours and hours going back over the PowerPoint, doing multiple problems, looking at Khan Academy, and they're still having a hard time. A lot of times those students are not are memorizing more than trying to understand, but I see this. And I see, you know, sometimes they think like, oh, I just suck at physics, I'm just gonna be bad at this. But I've seen time and time again, those students who don't get it as fast, what they do is they keep at it. And if they keep at it, I see it click. You know, some people, they just give up and they don't do well. But those people who just keep at it, who keep on trying, many times I start to see later on that things start to click. So don't give up even when you're on chapter one, you didn't do well, chapter two, you didn't do well, you're working so hard and you don't see results. I've seen time and time again where things start to click a little bit later on. So if that's you, if you're having a really hard time at the beginning, don't give up. You know, it will start to click later on. I've seen it time and time again. Well, thank you for watching everybody and I hope to see you again with the next episode. Bye.